Hey, welcome everyone to Monday, May 16th, uh, Festival of Chimes and Lights Committee. Uh, we're basically doing an update on where we're at right now. And um, let's hear a little bit about the Facebook page. Yeah, so I have been working on that. Um, I'm just trying to get photos, you know, some good photos, some good content, you know, just to make it visually pleasing. It hasn't been connected quite yet or live, but we had said, I believe June 1st, but I'm hoping to have it maybe the week before June. It's just okay. when I'm able to work on it. So I think that'll be a really fun thing to have a Chimes and Lights Facebook page. Um, Janine, do you have the disc that we got? Oh, it's been a while now, maybe five or six years ago um, that had all of the photos on it. We hired out, I think it was called North Woods North Productions. North you know, let me check. I do remember having that disc. So yeah, let me double check. Because there was quite a lot on there um, yeah. that could be used. And, uh, you know, we have been using it actually sure. all yeah. along. Let's just grab a it would pen. be nice to have an actual photographer, maybe even this year. I wonder why. Yeah, I know. I don't think we'll have the budget for it, but we sure need some new photos. And it's really hard because by the time we have chimes and lights, it's so dark. Definitely. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good idea. I'll see if I can find that disc and get some photos from there. Hello. I, I'm trying to remember your name. Em, Emma? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Okay. Rhymes with lemon. Okay. Hi. I'll rename myself. I uh, jumped in as fast as I could on the wrong link. So. Oh, you're good. Thank you for attending. Hi, Stephanie. I know you're um, muted right now, but hello to you. Hello. So, uh, so Facebook page, if you, anybody has any photos that you could send to Janine, we're a little bit um, lacking. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fantastic, yeah. <laughs> so thank you for doing that. Um, and you have, you're working on the special event application. Yep, yep, Brandy said she is um, just kind of finishing up. She's been working on a whole bunch of event applications. And this one is, in the process. Um, she did say though that she doesn't see any issues with anything that we're proposing as far as the event, a location. She said there shouldn't be an issue, but um, so it is being processed or sorry, it is being worked on right now and completed and then it'll be sent out for department comments and review pretty soon actually. Okay, uh, Emma and Kathy and Stephanie, just um, to update you where we're at with that is street closure uh, was happening from Sydney um, to the city hall at, um, sometime between two and three so that we could basically have everything set up at three. Um, but we are also gonna close the street at Sydney to um, the ferry, that section. However, it's been worked out that transit is going to be able to get through and that's been approved by the police department. Um, but that otherwise that'll be safe for pedestrians um, to go through. And um, I heard from John um, Clausen, the director of Kids Out Transit, that there are, that only affects just a couple of um, bus, bus pickups. So it's very few and they don't have anything going through there after 5.30. So that makes it really safe for our people to scoot back and forth, visiting Santa over at the gazebo and everything, um, and much less traffic. And then our detour of, will go up the Sydney Hill and around. So um, we really aren't gonna close off too much. I think um, the business owners will be pretty pleased with that. Um, Ginny and I'm not quite sure exactly, and, and Kathy, how we're managing the parking in that back area. I think kind of once you're in, you're in. We're not going to have a lot of movement back there. Isn't that right? By the waterfront? I know for our uh, marina customers in front of the office here, we talked about once they're there, they're there. And yeah. we'll have alternative parking over by the boat launch for them. So yes. I'll be notifying them of that. As far as down by the park, um, I don't know how you maybe post signs. I don't know what you do for people that are are down there. The city's still managing most of that with the exception of the 11 spaces along the boardwalk. 
Right. And that still will be basically open. You know, people will be using the boardwalk to access the park, but um, people can come and go from those businesses there, but they'll have to exit Harrison out onto um, Bay Street, taking, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, right yeah. only. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll just go ahead and I'll post the gates and send notices out to everybody that okay. during those times, they're not going to be able to get in and out. Okay. And I think that seems so far to be working out for everyone, um, safe and fine in general. So, yay, because for a while it was a little, <laughs> you know, touch and go. <laughs> okay, um, so happy about that. Has anyone heard anything at all about um, pet parade possibilities? Who was checking into that? I was trying to think. Oh, Kathleen was, you know. Oh, Emin, have you heard? No, I'm afraid I haven't. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. You know, we'll just check back in. Um, I know that, right, she was going to check on the possibility of a simply irresistible, irresistible to maybe take over that event, but I haven't heard either. Um, okay, let's see. How about tree decorating contest application? Yep, so that should be ready, um, depending if anything crazy happens this week, I should have that finalized okay. um, this week or next week. And then I will send it to you, Cindy. So that way, if you could review it, just make sure I'm not forgetting anything. So it looked like we wanted just, you know, a little more information. Yeah. Uh, one question I did have is I believe somebody had mentioned that maybe on the application we should indicate, uh, what was it, the judging? Like how people- The criteria? Yeah, and so I wasn't sure if that should be a page two to the application because right now we got a lot of information on that one page and if we add too much more it's going to create I mean, I think all we need to do is to have a little blurb on the website when it's up and that will be sufficient. Okay. Um, we can work on that because the judge sheet is <laughs> it's really pretty complex. Um, they have uh, like one to 10 ratings um, and their members go out and then they base it in the different categories. Um, what we'll do is maybe do a little snapshot of that or um, kind of summarize it and just put it on the website. I don't think making the application longer is gonna benefit anyone. Um, and if they have questions, we can help them with that. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it, that's tricky. Uh, you know, it's just a little bit tricky. And I think the process though is pretty fair. In the past, we tried things like having Santa and Mrs. Santa um, judge and all of that. And usually what this little group is doing is getting members from the community, um, including some younger people. And they all just go out separately and do their thing. And I think it ranges in numbers from like five to eight or nine, depending. So, and then they sit and they take all of these um, criteria and their, their scores and they put them all together and add them up and figure them out. So we're just grateful for all the time that they take doing this because it's not an easy process. But, um, but it seems like a very fair one. And that's what I think people are mostly concerned about. Some of them are kind of tricky, you know, because there's um, in some categories, we have had such amazing um, um, trees. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And having 50, you know, six, 57, 58 trees to judge, I, I don't envy them that task, to be honest, good for them, because I would have a hard time choosing. Well, one. and then some of them have had to judge from photos, you know, when we had those two that were taken. Um, I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. You know, this is a bunny trail, you guys. Um, but, but Kathy and Emin, maybe can you fill us in on the flower baskets downtown? I know the planters are being um, uh, adopted out now for people to fill with um, plants and things for the summer. But what I last understood is that there weren't going to be any hanging baskets downtown this year. Is that true? You don't know. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not sure. I remember um I remember somebody saying that that Kareem didn't have the money. Yeah. And you know what it was? It yeah. was the maintenance either. They didn't have the ability to water them. And that was a problem. 
And so, you know, I just wondered if that ever got resolved because I hadn't heard. Um, I also don't know for sure, but I do know they were having trouble finding somebody consistent to water them. And then, of course, we had that horrible heat wave last year. Mm -hmm. um, so. mm -hmm. And I think one of the systems, the watering systems, um, drip systems was out or inconsistent or something. Um, and the problem is, I think everyone's a little reluctant to put too much into a new irrigation system, knowing that downtown is going to be changing rather soon. Um, so, but that's something I'll, I'll look into a little bit further because I wondered what it was going to be like without flower baskets downtown because boy, they sure added a lot. Um, and most cities these days have them to Main Street. But anyway, I was just curious. So that's a bunny trail. Um, back to chimes and lights. I know um, Janine is working on the utility billing insert and it's just in my court mm -hmm. and I have to get there and take a peek. Um, but that's good because then we'll be ready for that um, September, October insert, which Absolutely. is a great advertisement. Yep. Thank you. Uh, let's see, what else did we have on here? Oh, did we find out about the price of trees for sure? Oh, yep. So it did go up um, $1 per tree. And did we decide on a price to charge? Did we say that we were going to do 55? I, I want to say we did come up with the price and I apologize. I can't remember. I have my notes. So. Yeah, I remember the okay, a dollar increase. And yeah. I think yeah. someone proposed kind of a bigger jump. And we were a little reluctant to have it go up too much, just because decorations and everything's all add up. So my suppose, notes show that we did decide or whether we went for 55 instead of the bigger jump to 60 or 62. Thank you. Thank you. 55. Okay, we'll get it in our notes uh, this week that that's the new price. So $55 is the cost. Thank you, Emin. Okay, let's see. You know, I wonder, um, Janine, on the listing of the agenda, we might want to take per peak performance timing, Jolly Jingle Run off oh. organizations. Yeah, okay. That might, I just saw that now. Again, another bunny trail. Um, all right, so we're going to open that up um, June 1st. People can start paying, and it'll be $55, and we'll just get anything on there clarified that isn't. Um, we did already figure out the timing. And just to repeat for anyone who may listen to this recording, uh, the planters, the trees are going to go in place November 1st through 4th. The decorating is to take place November 7th through the 23rd. Uh, we actually have planters one through 55. We only have 55. And um, decorations need to be removed no later than January 15th, 2023. Trees are going to be judged after November 24th and will be announced, the winners will be announced at Chimes and Lights on December 3rd. Uh, the categories, most classy, classic, overall best in show, best business representation, and best Scottish themed. So our, our um, we, it's a Scottish Christmas is the theme for this year. And that plays into our Christmas around the world that we're going to be doing for several years. Scotland being the first, we're looking forward to hearing Scottish pipes, Pipes and maybe even having some dancers. And I'm still waiting to hear more information on that, but um, we certainly are looking into a number of bands. Um, so it's pretty exciting. Let's see, anything else for today? Did anyone have any questions? We're for sure gonna have a Santa. We're gonna have a, yes, Kathy. Yeah, so we had talked about um, whether or not the port would allow anybody, other organizations to decorate the gazebo area um, from a liability standpoint. Yes. Uh, 
So I did take that to James Weaver, our director, and he would like to see a proposal of what, what we're talking about because the port's going to wrap the posts at the gazebo, but we do not have any um, funds to decorate anything beyond that. And so he's looking at, at um, something in writing for what is proposed, you know, what kind of decorations because he doesn't want to commit our staff to doing it because we have so many others that we're doing um, yeah. before he kind of sees what the plan of attack is. Okay. Kathy, is there any way that you guys would have time to actually come up with what decorating would look like? And then what we can do is farm that out? You know, know as yeah, our, you know, our staff is so, we've got so many things broken. You're right swamped. Now, Cindy. We are okay. swamped. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't want to. Okay time to that right now because yep yep I'll probably get shot <laughs> yep so basically though it's what, what's needed kathy is like lights around the gazebo yeah i had suggested um i'm also going to find out what our electricity um um restrictions might be um okay. i don't know if the city has a spider box we have one but i think we're going to be using it in another area um by the marina Okay. So um, we got to look at what the electricity um, requirements are. And then we had talked about maybe some blow ups because they're big and easy to take up and down without okay. a lot of, of um, manpower. Mm -hmm. So um, that might be a suggestion. Like I said, we're going to wrap the poles with lights, but we've had so much vandalism down there when we decorate that park. Yes. that we have found it's not worth our, our budget to put things down there. So we put them closer to the marina instead. Okay. All right. But um, I want to make sure Santa's lit up and has some yeah. stuff going, you know. Right. And I know Sharon was going to work on getting the, the sled, you know, for a backdrop, but nothing else. So, yeah, yeah. yeah let me, let me um, even go down there and take a peek and see. I'm going to look and see what was done in the past, too. If it, there's any photos from the past, I'm going to go see what was actually done. That helps to give us an idea of what. And then to I think I think um, Janine, I think both of us were a little indecisive on whether or not the boardwalk had any electricity to to wrap the the rail all the way down the boardwalk. I'm still not sure about that, but we're going to want to okay. figure that out. And if not, I was thinking maybe some of those like candy cane stakes or something that you could put in the ground to lead people down there um, might be an idea but we're going to have to figure out the electricity you know capabilities that's the biggest thing isn't it really yeah. maybe to me maybe we can talk to bill yeah mm -hmm. i i just wrote down ask bill about that so yeah i can definitely ask him and i can do a walkabout with him too if if he wants to stop down here we okay, can perfect. Kind of go take a walk together and and kind of look at it. But before we, you know, get yeah. too far into Santa down there, I want to make sure that we can light him up and have it be real festive down there for for that. Okay. Um, Janine, would you include me? Because then I could see what needs to be done in addition yeah. and then get that farmed out. Perfect. Yep. Okay. I do remember that we had problems in the past with blowing things. So that is part of the problem with the, the blow up toys. You have to have that little generator, not, it's not generator, but the, the blower itself. And that takes electricity. That goes on and off, doesn't it? Or it goes on all the, it's on all the time. Well, we have electricity down there in the gazebo and we have electricity behind the restrooms that we, uh, the farmer's market uses. It's just making sure we have enough capability and, and whether or not we need to plug a spider box or something in to get more. Right, and plus we were really hoping for some kind of music, right. whether the pipers are down there or something. Okay. Can I ask, what's a spider box? It's like a junction box thing that you can plug multiple things into. Okay, perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Janine, do we have one? Do we have some for the city? I'll find out, I'll ask Public Works. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, this is a good time to be planning those details because we actually can't really sell, sell the uh, decorating out until we have more information in case somebody comes up with something that we can't manage. 
Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So next month we'll work on the who's and now we'll work on this month. We'll work on what, what we can actually, um, what somebody could do. Yeah. And Bill, will, he's going to be an excellent source and probably Tuesday. Uh, but L LED lights go a long way. Does we the just, city have a budget to do anything down there, do you think? Or is it just going to be focused around the tree? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can reach out to Brandy and, and double check with her on the budget. Okay. Yeah. That budget is a moving target, man. <laughs> You never know because it's got staff time in there and you never know till everybody's hours are tallied. It's a, it's a, it's kind of a tricky budget that way. Um, but yeah, we can figure that out too. We'll, we'll still have the boat launch decorated, the grass in front of the marina, all of that'll be lit up. Um, I'm not sure if Brian has anything new he's adding this year, but hopefully, okay. yeah. And that's quite a bit. And you know what? It is actually that we just need to make it visible and to lead people to Santa down there. And I do remember what our biggest draw was if we had live music, if we had pipers down there, then people would just be curious enough to follow the music down. Well, I, think, I think we can also go from the lighted boats at, down at gate four. Uh -huh. We can have like an A board and a sign, you know, or something like I said, candy canes or something going down the, the boardwalk all the way to the park. Yeah, that would be cool. As far as um, budget, I also have in my notes that part of that price hike on the trees was going to go toward lights because we were worried about uh, being a bit short in that department. That's true. That's true, That's true because we, we've got $1 extra for the actual price. So with each tree that sells... We do. So 55, let's just say extra staff, three. Well, it doesn't add up too much, 165, about. But that sunlights, that's several sets of LEDs at least. And Marcus, or even signage, you know, to get people down there, some kind of wayfinding, you know, markers. Or a way right. to pay the piper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good. I'm like here for the Scotland one. jokes. So <laughs> that's wonderful. Oh, that, was <laughs> that was good. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this this week. I think um, we'll we'll make it a priority to find out what our restrictions are down um, at the waterfront. And then we'll be farming out the gazebo decorating because I think what we can do is make it real specific. You know, lights here, blah, 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 sponsored by, da, da, da. Break it up and I think that would be real easy. Um, and then I can take it to him once there's a plan to see from a liability standpoint who would have to do that. Okay, oh, that works really well. Okay. Oh, I see Sandy's just signing on. Hi, Sandy. We're Hi. just kind of finishing Sorry. up. Sorry, I'm late. I, oh, that's okay. Uh, I, I forgot. I was a set. I, I was at one of the schools today and teaching, and I forgot. That's I okay. Tried. We have a kind of a short meeting today, and it was mostly logistics. We're working okay. on um, how and what we can do for decorating down by the gazebo, which is where Santa's going to be. We've got our um, plan for closing the streets. That that's pretty much approved by the police, or you know, the thought of it is approved. Um, so it's just finding out how much electricity bandwidth we have and what can be done down by the gazebo. And I do think the royalty can be involved in this if they're available. It would be very fun to have them help us get people down to Santa. We're thinking of having some live music down there and we're just trying to work on some lighting or a pathway type thing to get people down there. Something they used to be used to, but not in the more recent years. So that's pretty much it. Plus, you know, we have the marching band. Um, maybe, maybe they can end up down there if that works out and play a yet another tune or something. I'll ask about that if, that, if there's something that can be done because they could literally lead, lead people down there. Um, and at that time, Kissap Transit would be completely done with their runs through there. 
So uh, we'll play with that a little bit too. So I think that's it. Um, we have three porta potties that we've got um, lined up. Yeah, Emma. Uh, just an update on the choirs. It looks like we are good to go for everybody. I haven't heard back from the community chorale though. Okay, wow. They have a new director, so. Uh, I see, okay. So all of the previous choirs are good to go and community chorale is the big one. Okay, great. And have we heard anything at all from our volunteer organizations and um, any of those yet? Not yet. I actually have a task reminder for Wednesday to okay. contact them again. Okay, great. All right. Well, um, it's falling into place and it's not that far away, is it anymore? You just look at this and you go, my gosh, time just flies. So, well, thank you everybody for attending. We'll have some summary information out on this and we'll be working with Public Works and Kathy um, to figure out what may be done um, to help with the gazebo. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank right. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Stephanie, too. Bye. Take care.